As the nation continues to mourn the loss of 19 children in that deadly fire at the Maggi Secondary School dorms, a candlelight vigil was held last night at the Umanayano in honor of those who lost their lives in the fire. The event was graced with the presence of some of the children who survived the horrific ordeal and who were discharged from the hospital. As reality sank in that many of their friends and colleagues were gone, things got emotional. To defy the odds on Sunday night, to exit that fire with the help of so many others, but they're here tonight, testimony of strength and the power of the human spirit. Many were critical of government's decision to have the children attend the vigil after such horrific experience. Persons believe that the children should have already been exposed to counseling. The vigil saw children from various schools across the city singing and sharing in the grief of the families of the victims and those who are critically injured and hospitalized. President A. Finale, Prime Minister Mark Phillips and other government officials, members of the Joint Services, parents and teachers all joined in the vigil as many struggled to come to terms with the tragedy. The memory of the loved ones will be a part of who we are as a nation and as a people. Their memory and their life now forms an integral part of our life as a nation, as a life, as our life as a people. This is now part of what is written on our slate as a country. We now have the ability to take that slate and to recommit ourselves towards each other and towards our country. It is the least we can do in their honor.